Hey what's up YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to make an ice cream shop. Please do remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Watch until the very end of the video to see where we place the ice cream parlour in our city. This is the amount of space required to make the parlour. And here are all of the materials that we will use throughout the build. Begin by placing three light blue concrete on top of each other. One, two, three. Extend backwards by four. One, two, three, four. Extend across the build by three. One, two, three. Join down. And then extend this original block across by two. One, two. Extend down. One, two. And then extend across by a further three. One, two, three. Join down. Add another row of light blue concrete extending left. And this is the shape that we will end up with. So what we first of all want to do on the left side is connect this top row all the way down to the ground, leaving a gap of two here. We actually want to place white concrete in front of this empty two by two space, extend up and then another row across to the right like this. Then remove these two grass blocks here and you can remove this one as well and replace all of these with oak planks. However, this left side we will leave alone and this right side we will add doors in front of. If you like, you can place glass above the doors but you may prefer just to leave it light blue. Next, leave a gap of three in front of this light blue concrete. One, two, three. And then place a light blue concrete extending from the ground and add two on top to match the height of all of the other rows. Next, we are going to dig a right angle between this row of light blue concrete and that row of light blue concrete, like this. Then fill all of that in with sea lanterns. Then place upside down smooth quartz stairs on top of all of those sea lanterns, like this. Then place item frames in front of the top two rows of white concrete that we placed earlier. And then along the top here, we're going to place a brown shulker box in the item frames, pink and then yellow. Underneath, we are going to place a golden shovel, flower pot, and finally place a pointed dripstone in the final item frame. Then leaving a gap of one in front of the white concrete, place three cauldrons. And on top of the cauldrons, place corresponding colored carpet to the shulker boxes that are behind the cauldron. So brown, pink, and yellow. Then glass paint in front of each one of those cauldrons. Then right of this, a glow item frame. Along the side here, we are going to have a brewing stand and a cake, and then you can use the empty space for whatever you like. Next, we want to place smooth quartz slabs in front of the stairs that have the glass on them. And on these, a flower palm, item frame with a golden shovel in and a pointed dripstone. And in front of the left and right slabs, an end rod with light blue carpet on top. Then coming all the way over to here, place a brown glazed terracotta with an oak leaf on top of it. And then in front of this light blue concrete, a spruce fence gate with a black concrete on top, item frame in front, snowball in the item frame, then spruce trap doors left of these two blocks, the fence gate and the black concrete, and a spruce trap door on top as well, which will give us, once we've finished, this. Focusing our attention on the right side of the build now, we want to dig two rows behind this light blue concrete, one, two, and place sea lanterns in there instead. On the end, a light blue concrete, 
Dig two more rows back, one, two, place sea lanterns in there, and then a light blue concrete. Then, extending across the back of the build, we want to dig two rows across, place sea lanterns, and then on the end a light blue concrete. Dig two more rows, place sea lanterns, then a light blue concrete. Dig two more rows, place sea lanterns, light blue concrete. And then extending towards the front of the build, we want to dig two rows, place sea lanterns, light blue concrete, and then dig two rows, place sea lanterns, and that's perfect. So, on the sea lanterns, we want to place three rows of glass block. So this will equal the height of the light blue concrete at the front of the build. We then want to extend the light blue concrete up in between the glass blocks to match the height, like so. Next, we are going to remove all of the grass inside of the front portion of the ice cream parlor, including the ones underneath the cauldrons, and replace all of those empty spaces with oak planks. Then, remove all of the grass blocks inside the ice cream parlor, and once again, replace them all with oak planks. You know what, whilst we're focusing on landscaping, let's remove the remaining grass and white concrete inside of the grid. At the back of the build, we want to place lime terracotta to replace all of the empty space that we have created. The lime terracotta will extend all the way forwards until we get to the light blue concrete behind the sign. Then all of the remaining empty space will be filled in using smooth stone. Next, the roof. Place a pink wool on top of this light blue concrete. Then, extend the pink wool to the right by placing a white wool. Pink, white, pink, white, pink, white, pink, white, pink. This will overhang the light blue concrete. We also want to add an additional white concrete over there on the left. Then, we want to extend the overhanging blocks, the pink and the white walls, across all the way to the back of the build where they also want to overhang by one. Then we will connect these two sides together with the same pattern that they are connected with at the front. So as you can see, the sides of the roof are one colour, but along the back we have the multicolour. And then we want to do a very similar thing. So we want to place a white wool extending above and inside just from the edge here, and then extend it all the way back and connect like this. So one row above and inside. On this side of the build, we want to do the same thing using a pink wool. And then we want to connect these two walls together at the back and the front in the same manner that they are connected just down below, like this. And on the front also, white, pink, white, pink, white, pink, white, pink. And then we are going to, for a final time, do the same thing. So above and inside of this, a white wall, extend all the way back. Let's do the same here over on this side, white wall, just like so. And then we can just alternate between the white walls and pink walls extending over like this. To fill in the entire roof section. However, this leaves the inside of the build a bit of a mess. But if you place a row of light blue concrete on top and outside of the wall sections of the ice cream parlor and across here also 
And then it's up to you what you want to do with the roof exactly. Like, you can just make it light blue concrete if you like. So just underneath all of the white wall and the pink wall, you can just add rows of light blue concrete like this. And you may prefer that. Or, as we have with the outside, you can just have a canopy and we can just add a row of light blue concrete here. So it's up to you whether you want a low or high ceiling and whether or not you want to have this or you want to add light blue concrete to it. It's kind of a personal decision. You can even drop this all the way down to here if you did so choose, so things were a little bit more snugly. And in doing that, you would also be able to hide some lighting above this area here. So the way that you would do that is by grabbing your sea lanterns and perhaps just above the ice cream section, place some sea lanterns like this and that would provide some light, which is useless at the moment, but at night time it would be nicely illuminated and with shaders. Next, we want to place a series of back-to-back -back upside down oak stairs along the top of the front row of walls. So the first back-to-back -back pair is here. We then leave a gap and then place another and then leave a gap and place another, just like this. So we want to have three of them in total. And on these, we want to stack various colored concrete powders. So the first of which is brown, second of which is pink, and the third of which is yellow, like this. Then we are going to make an ice cream banner by throwing down a limb, open it up, light blue banner in there with some yellow dye, and apply the lozenge pattern. Put that back in, throw light blue dye in there, apply the blue perfess pattern, grab that, put that back in, throw some pink dye in there, and apply the roundel pattern, and there we go. Ice cream banner, which I'm going to apply right here, and you can use it anywhere else that you like, wherever you feel as though that it might make a nice little impact. I, I think I do actually literally just want to have it there though myself. Next, we are going to place string in front of and below all of the, this is kind of hard to place with the banner, in front of and below the front row of walls. So we'll know where we've done this right, as we should be able to place corresponding carpets in front of our walls. So there we go, perfect. There's probably an extra one somewhere, so I'm just going to, ah, there we go, perfect. So we have just plucked that string, and there we go. With the entire outside of the build complete, we can now head inside and work on the interior. So first of all, we are going to place upside down smooth quartz stairs in front of these two white concretes. Remove these blue concretes and in front of one of the white concretes, place a lever and the other a tripwire hook. Place a flower pot on one of the stairs and a pointed dripstone on the other. Place a row of three, one, two, three light blue concrete extending from that light blue concrete and extend across to the right, leaving a gap. Then, along the counter space here, a brewing stand, flower pot, and lastly, a cake. Then, extending across these three remaining light blue concretes, place glass paint. We then want to place cauldrons behind these three light blue concretes and on top of these, different colors of carpets. I always go back to yellow, brown, and pink. And in front of this counter space, we will place alternating pink and white carpets as well, just like this. And then on the right side of the ice cream parlor, we will place a brown glazed terracotta here, oak leaf on top, and then a smooth quartz stairs extending from the light blue concrete with an end rod in front of it, white carpet on top of that, smooth quartz stairs, end rod, white carpet, and believe it or not, that is the entire inside of the build complete. And with that final detail added, we have officially completed the tutorial. However, this video is not over. We must now take our ice cream parlor and add it into our city. Guys, there really is only one place to add the ice cream parlor, and that is next to the gym in the modern suburbs. It has to be done. We have to really turn up the temptation for the gym goers of Mini City. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. Please do remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you are looking for more things to add to your Minecraft city slash worlds, look no further than the mini city playlist down below in the description. We have almost 80 
tutorials in there for you to enjoy and expand your Minecraft world. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.